In the book of Acts, written by Luke, in chapter 8, we find these words. On that day, a great persecution broke out against the church in Jerusalem, and all was scattered except for the apostles. For many weeks at the beginning of the lockdown, it felt like that for me, as Julian and I were the only ones continuing to work within the building, and you, the church, were out scattered in the community. We know in this time that the Lord has been establishing us as individuals on mission. But there is also a time when God calls his church back together to establish congregations. And what I love in this passage is just a couple of verses on from Luke's declaration that everyone was scattered, we find this words. Those who were scattered preached the word wherever they went. And we know, as we have been scattered in this time, that the word is being preached through each of us. The gospel is advancing. And we see in the book of Acts that what happened when the church was scattered was one by one they shared their faith. They then gathered in small homes as others were added to them. And emerging out of that are churches. Works that are established that have a community profile. We believe in this coming season, as the lockdown is removed, the pandemic is still here, but the rhythms of life are returning, that we will be re-establishing our congregations. Within the DNA of Hope Church is a passion to launch and establish new works. New works in the nations and in this nation, but within our boroughs, in Bromley and surrounding areas. As we relaunch our congregations, we have a SIF congregation that will be launched. And Bruce and Risha are gonna tell us how we are establishing a new work in Bromley North. Hi, I'm Bruce. And I'm Risha. And we are launching Hope Bromley North, which is Hope's sixth congregation meeting in Bromley North, right in the center of Bromley. And uh, we first began um, our journey on this back in October last year. And we hold regular prayer meetings. And uh, many of you came to those back in October, November last year. And we were planning to launch within six months. And then of course lockdown happened and everything got put on hold. So we have, we've been waiting, but you know, sometimes in the waiting, that's when God really moves, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. And uh, we found um, tremendous times together on Zoom. We've been meeting on Zoom, we've carried on meeting on Zoom, like many uh, of the congregations. And uh, what we've found is that during that time, people have been added to us. We've been able to pray for one another. We've been able to support one another during lockdown. And what's happened is we've really become family. And so we really feel as Hope Bromley North that we already have an identity. We've not officially launched yet, but we do have an identity together as God's people, as part of Hope Church. Bonding together. Yeah, that's right, we're really bonded together. And it's been great to see God move in our midst in that way. And we've really felt through prayer that, that family is a key thing for us, that we are going to be uh, family together in Bromley North, working God's purposes there. So we're beginning to gather now in a cafe, just a preliminary meetings, but it's been a chance for us to be able to invite people along and get people there that, that aren't part of Hope yet, but um, are really interested in coming to Bromley North. And so it's been great to be able to meet there and just have coffee together. Social distancing, of course, we've maintained that, but they have an, out, an area out the back of this cafe that's ideal for our use. It has a, it's an outdoor area, but it's covered. Um, and so it, it's ideal for this time of lockdown. Of course, we still don't know yet when our physical launch will be. We're waiting on government guidelines to change and obviously for everyone to agree that it's safe to meet together again. But in the meantime, we've really, waiting on God has really prepared us, prepared our hearts for all those involved. And uh, we're excited now that as soon as we can, we're gonna be launching into Bromley North and seeing the power of God move there in our midst. It's going to be great. 
Behind the scenes, through the whole of the summer, we've had a team working to have our buildings ready to be used again. At St Luke's, we are ready to go. And already we've had gatherings of congregations meeting for updates. And from September, we will be doing more and more activities from there. Our youth will be gathering. Small groups and congregations will be meeting. We'll be launching some weekly teaching that we can come and take part of. At Downham, we hope very soon to be in there and having activities from that site. From the Goodmead Centre, there's some additional issues to do with airflow that means that we may have to do some remedial works. And part of this offering will go towards funding that. But from September, we will be using our buildings, not necessarily on a Sunday, but through the weekdays to start gathering as one family in our local congregations. The question that I'm most asked at this time is when will we be meeting again on a Sunday, Tony? And I really understand that and the elders really understand that because we wish to be meeting together with you. Only last weekend I met with our Bromley Common congregation as we met outside and it thrilled my heart. When we worship and gather together on Sundays we wish it to be an authentic expression of our worship together. And we are planning, believing that the government will allow for this sometime beyond October half term, maybe the latter half this year, for churches to gather with live worship, maybe behind a screen, with the congregation there wearing masks but able to sing gently, and being one people worshipping together. We don't exactly know when that will happen. There may be a spike and it might actually be next year. But we wish to be ready and able to take full advantage of that opportunity when it arises. The New Year offering is about making us ready and equipped for that day when it comes. To repurpose our buildings so that we can gather again and be worshipping there at Downham, at Orpington and at Bromley Common, but also at schools in West Wickham and in Chislehurst and in a new venue in Bromley North, takes a number of systems to be put in place. We will be using uh, church suite and our website to book in so that you know that you've got a space when that meeting occurs and we know who's coming. We will be signposting and enabling that when people come in there's a good flow through the rooms. There will be sanitised units so that we can uh, clean our hands. There will be PPE available. There's also some structural equipment that we believe that we need to put in place so that the worship team can be singing to us live, but in a safe way. All these are minor things, but need planning, and they also need resourcing. Part of the New Year offering is going towards the funding of these new equipment for this season to come. Here are some ways on how to give. The best way for us is by direct bank transfer. Please reference the new era offering. Alternatively, you can make a pledge. Again, please reference the new era offering. If you have any questions about making a pledge or you need the church bank details, please email david.dell at hopechurchuk.org. For all the other ways that you can give, please visit our website www.hopechurchuk.org forward slash new era offering.